All right, welcome to the comic book shop of doom here on awesomestreaming.com. Okay, this broke earlier today. NWA All Access on Fight TV being phased out, power to debut weekly on YouTube. So the NWA is ending their year-long thing on Fight, where they're charging like $48 a year to watch their shows. Um, so that means that either they weren't making money, well, it, it probably means that, yeah, they weren't, they weren't making money. So it's either Fight TV or NWA that pulled it off, or both of them agreed to do it. A year after they announced their all-access plan for Fight, the NWA changed course on Tuesday and will be reverting back to the way they used to do business with both their weekly TV shows and pay-per-views. So they're doing six pay-per-views a year. Starting on Tuesday, their flagship NWA Power Weekly TV show will return to debuting on YouTube at 6.05 Eastern while there will be no charge for their NWA USA show that airs on YouTube on Saturdays. Monthly and annual all-access plans on Fight are no longer available for purchase. In their release, it was stated that the annual plan, so forty nine ninety nine a year, began being phased out last August and that those who still have active annual subscriptions will be able to watch live pay-per-views until their subscription expires. For non-annual subscription users, NWA pay-per-views will return to being available on fight for individual purchase. While not specifically stated, it's believed the NWA will continue with six yearly pay-per-views as they added two last year in conjunction with their all-access announcement. The first ever Nuff Said pay-per-view is set for February 11th in Tampa, Florida. So we go to the, <clears throat> the basically the capital of the wrestling world now, because everybody lives in Tampa that's associated with wrestling now because of uh, WWE is basically based around there with the Performance Center. You got Impact was taping around there. You know, so all these companies are based out of Florida. And this NWA is 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 really a dead promotion, in my opinion. I think Billy Corgan killed it. And um, just bad decisions, bad choices of talent. They just had Colby Carino. His contract expired, and he's they're screaming he's a free agent. And the only reason why he's getting in the WWE is because his dad is there as a trainer. So... Steve Carino probably pulled some strings to get his kid hired, at least in NXT. At least he'll get a look at. And then they had Nick Aldis as their champion, and he uh, his contract expired, and he wanted out anyway. So the NWA, oh, excuse me, excuse me, in my opinion, has been dead for years. And I don't know what would I don't know what would revive it at this point. I think Billy Corgan just screwed it up too much. Everybody have a good day.